extend the gospel, the good news into this valley. Amen. Let it start in Orville. We want to build community. This is the other thing, and I have to challenge myself on this periodically. We want to be effective for the kingdom of God, not busy for the kingdom of God. Amen? I've worked with people, and I'm trying to be nice, but I've worked with people, look, they work harder at looking busy than if they just worked. Anybody ever been in a work environment like that? I'm like, they're making me tired because they're just working so hard trying to look busy. I don't want us to look busy for the kingdom. That's the wrong purpose. We want to be effective for the kingdom of God. We all have busy lives. We all have things that happen. Things that usually happen the day, you know, the same time. And I was looking at my, I was talking with someone this morning about summertime, and I think Misty and I were talking June and this and that. And all of a sudden, I love summer. It's my, probably my favorite. My calendar's filling up. I don't like that because it sucks all my weekends out, all my stuff. But I don't want to be busy. I want to be effective for those dates. I want to be effective. I want to be effective for this community. I tell you today that each and every one of us, we can make a difference for the kingdom of God. That's what I want from you. That's why I want you to have vision and revelation of the things of God. That's why the word of God is important in our lives. Because we can make a difference. There's a couple things I have written down that I think just recently we've seen in this past year. Here in this body of Christ, we have a men's breakfast once a month. That's new and it's making a difference. It's incorporating men to get to come together on a Saturday morning and spend time together. That's an important thing and it makes a difference. Another thing that we've incorporated is when we have special music. That's, that's been different. That's been new. It makes a difference. It's not just filling up dates on the calendar, but it makes a difference. We just this past week, last Sunday, I spoke to you about it. But we, and they've done it here in the past before, but we've, we've, uh, we've garnered a new missionary that we're going to support monthly. That's new. That's effective for the kingdom of God. And we want to be mindful to do those things. I want to share three things with you that uh, in, I wrote down, I jotted down. In this church, as long as we have a vision and we have revelation of Jesus Christ in our lives, we have a future. Do you believe that? There's our little missionary, Leanne, Laura Ann. Pray for her. Millie took a picture home with her of Laura Ann and our little Millie that visits. And last week when she was here, she referenced this as our church. It's her church. And then several times this week, Bob, she said to me, I prayed for that girl. I prayed for her. Thank you, Jesus, that you can teach a nine-year-old how to have a heart for a missionary. But see, we have new things coming for our future. These are the three things that I wrote down, and I'm going to let you go because my clock's still not running. <laughs> we are going to participate. Um, I've got to find out some details, and I'm praying and asking the Lord. But in August, I believe it's August the 6th, Orville has a national night out. They did that last year. It was a very successful event. They did it over that way at the park, our church is going to be represented there. I don't know how yet. Maybe we'll be giving out cold water. Maybe, you know, I don't know. But we're going to be represented. I have a vision for this church to support this community. And what a better way than to just be present and to be kind. Amen? The next thing where it's kind of on our back burner, these are just daydreams, okay? But, you know, a daydream is a vision. You're, vi you're dreaming of something that can come to fruit, right? You're, something that can come to pass. Uh, we're, we're planning a ladies' luncheon, a women's luncheon, just for the lady. The men get to have breakfast once a month. We're not going to do one every month because us women do the cooking. But we'll have, an, we'll have an occasional luncheon together. That's on our future. That's our vision, to have that for the women. And then this is a big one, and you bear with me. Um, Nancy knows about this. We were talking. Uh, uh, Lori said uh, our family reunions this week up at Lost Lake, and she, we were talking about that camp, and Dale walked through the campground, and he said, oh, it's so beautiful. Amen. And he said, why don't our church have a camp there next summer? Yes. Why not? What was, what's holding us back? 
You want me to tell you? Us. 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 Let's get on board with a vision for this community, for this church, for things that we can change. Amen. And we will work out those details. But I put that on my 2025 dream list for this church that we be able to have a little three-day camp meeting. Why not? An impact. That also is a venue that you can invite someone that's not real comfortable to come into the church building, but maybe they would come up there. We don't know. But those are the things that I've asked, that I've written down. I want you to begin to pray in closing. I want you to begin to pray and ask God to give you vision for our community, to give you vision how to react and interact with your neighbors, how to love on people. Amen? But this is the most thing, I think that for me is the most one of the most important things about all of this for me. And you and I are going to have to be intentional. You can't just haphazardly fling things out there. But be intentional in your day-to-day -day living for the things of God and for his kingdom. God bless you.